Good afternoon, students. Uh, today we have come back again to our chapter, Sexual Reproduction in Flowering Plants. And the topic of discussion of today's class is Megasporogenesis. That means how the formation of the female gamete or ovum is being produced. In our last classes, we discussed the structure of a uh, ovule, then what is a female gamete in a flower, and also the processes how male gametes or, or the pollen grains are being produced in a flower. Today we are going to discuss how the female gamete or the egg is being produced in a flower. Okay, And that process is called megasporogenesis. See this was the structure of a uh, ovule. As I already told you in the last class, these are the different parts of the ovule. The ovule mainly has two ends. The one is micropylar end, that is this is micropyle, the axial end and this is your terminal end in the lower portion of the ovule which is also called colossal end. And this nucellus, it is a very important part of the ovule because it acts as a food reserve. Okay. So we are going to discuss about how this megasporogenesis process is carried out in a ovule. So let us discuss this. Now let us first know what is megasporogenesis. The process of formation of megaspore from megaspore mother cell by meiotic cell division is known as megasporogenesis. Okay, megasporogenesis is nothing but it is the process of formation of megaspore. Megaspore is the female gametophyte and from where it is being produced from the megaspore mother cell. Okay, and how it is being produced by meiotic division, by the cell division, the name of the cell division is meiosis. You already know two types of cell divisions are there, one is mitosis and the second one is meiosis. Okay, by meiosis when the megaspore mother cell divides, this process is called megasporogenesis and this process takes place in the ovule. So this is the structure of ovule, in this ovule only this megasporogenesis will take place. Now what this ovule is going to do, ovule differentiates a single megaspore mother cell which is also called MMC in the micropylar region of the nucellus. See this is the structure of a ovule and this is the nucellus and this is the micropylar region and this is the collagel region okay. This is micropylar region and this is your collagel region. So first what the ovule is going to do, it is going to differentiate the first this megaspore mother cell or MMC in the micropylar region. The MMC undergoes meiotic division that results into production of four megaspores. Here in this portion, this micropylar portion, first the megaspore mother cell or MMC, what it is going to do? It is going to make four cells first. Four cells will be there in the megaspore mother cell region. Okay. See then what is going to happen and here the MMC undergoes mitotic, meiotic division that will result in the production of 4 megaspores. These small small four cells which I showed you these are called megaspores okay 4 megaspores will be there. And in flowering plants what happens among those 4 megaspores 3 megaspores will degenerate. That means I told you that 4 megaspores will be formed here in the micropylar end and from this 4 3 will disappear. Only one will be left. Understood? Okay. Now you see one megaspore develops into female gametophyte and which is called embryo sac. Others will degenerate, only one will be left and it will develop into the embryo sac. This embryo sac you can see, this embryo sac is being developed from this left out megaspore. Okay. The new Nucleus of functional megaspore divides mitotically to form two nuclei which moves opposite to opposite poles and to form two nucleate embryo sac. This embryo sac it is going to have two nucleus that's why it's, it is said that it will have two nuclear embryo sac. Now what this one leftover megaspore will do we know that it is going to develop into a, an embryo sac but how? This nucleus of this functional megaspore, it will divide mitotically and it will form two nucleus, okay? And then it will move to opposite poles. Two or more sequential mitotic division results into eight nucleate embryo sac. Now what is going to happen, students see, this particular megaspore which is left out, what it is going to do, it is going to divide. And from this division only two is going to happen. So you know how it divided? I already told you only one was there, it is going to divide in between. Okay. And after division you will see 
two small small new parts are being formed and these both the parts will have their own nucleus now what is going to happen this one part will move to this end and the other part is going to move towards this end is it clear so later on if you see it will seem like this that one part has gone here and other part has come here okay and both of them will have their individual nucleus that's why it is called two nucleate double nucleate and what it is forming it is forming the embryo sac okay double nucleated embryo sac you will see double nucleated embryo sac being formed then what will happen these two they will again divide mitotically and now they will become eight nucleated embryo sac now there is there are only two after that again they will divide okay they are going to divide and by now they will form more okay this is going to give birth to two this is going to give birth to two like that now how many nucleus will be formed eight nucleuses will be formed now what is going to happen here here you will see i told you eight nucleuses will be formed okay and from them six of the eight nuclei will be surrounded by cell wall out of them six will be surrounded by cell wall and two will be left out because i already told you eight nucleus will be formed and these left out two they are also called polar nuclei okay and then they will come and they will be situated below the egg apparatus understood so these two nuclei which will be coming and which will be situated be, be in the between the egg apparatus slowly slowly these are going to disappear now how many are going to be left only six so from this six three what they will do they will group at the micropylar end micropylar end means this end okay three they are going to group here and the rest three they will group in the collagen end okay and the three which will group in the micropylar end they are called egg apparatus and the other who is the other three who are grouped in the collagen end they are called antipodal cells see i told you from eight eight will be there first okay first eight will be there 1 2 3 four Five, six, seven, eight will be there. Okay, and from that eight, two will become polar nuclei. Polar nuclei. Okay. So now, how many are left? One, two, three, four, five, six are only left. Okay. So among these six, what we'll do? Three will come and sit here in the micropylar end, and three will come and sit here. Okay. And this one who is sitting in the micropylar end, they will be. telling they it will be said that they are sitting near the egg apparatus egg apparatus and you know those two nucleus which this disappeared they will be going and sitting also in under the egg apparatus so you will not see them so three will be in microbiller end and three will go and sit near the collagen end so if you see from this diagram it will be more clear for you see this is the megaspore mother cell it is dividing this is the micropylar and this is new cellus okay so here you will see these i as i told you the three they will go and sit in the micropylar end and they will constitute the egg apparatus and the other three they will become the antipodal cells see it is written here it is it will form the antipodal cells and when it will become mature this the embryo sac will become eight nucleated it will become eight nucleated okay because here six are there and two already they went and they set under the egg apparatus so it will become eight nucleated but it will become seven cell cells okay seven cells will be there see if you see from this diagram it will be more clear for you this is the micropylar end this is the collagen end this is the megaspore mother cell okay it is going to divide first it is going to divide and it will make two so it is called megaspore dyad okay then what will happen it will make megaspore tetrad tetrad means it will divide into four this is meiotic cell division okay that's why it is becoming from two it is becoming four okay two two divisions are there and then what will happen from there from these two i told you two will be moving upwards two will be moving downwards and then four cells will be there okay so from there two will go and hide under egg apparatus okay other three will produce the antipodal cells and other three will go and they will sit in the microbiller end and these two they are polar nuclei they will hide under the egg apparatus so if you see this now this is the microbiller end this is the collagen end okay but in this diagram what we have done they have inverted it that means microbiller end they have brought it down side that means if you may rotate it okay if you are going to rotate this diagram you'll see like this see this is the microbiller end if you see and this is the collagen end the three nucleus which are went upwards in the microbiller end 
they are going to form this egg apparatus okay here egg apparatus is there and from there only two synergies will be developed and one egg is developed and these two are the polar nuclei and these three will sit near the antibodal cells so one cell from the microbiolar end is going to give birth to your egg or the ovum this is the ovum which will be fertilized by the pollen grain when it comes and it entire process will happen inside the ovule okay inside the ovule and this is being conducted in the ovary as we know in the ovary of a cell okay of a plant of a flower so this is the process how the megaspore megasporogenesis occur how egg is being produced and after production of egg this stamens from the anther pollen grains will come and it will fall in the stigma and then it will go inside the style and it will fall inside the ovule and it will fertilize and it will give birth to a new seed and this will result in the formation of a new plant okay students so thank you for your concentration we will meet in our next class with a new topic